Hey guys, x 311 Spartan back at you with another video. I figured it's probably been a few months, a few weeks, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Time to do another one. So what I wanted to do for you guys today was show you how the Apex Migration Assistant process works. So if you're switching from the Astro 25 series line of products like XTS 5000, XTL 5000, XTL 2500, whatever, and you're migrating to Apex itself, Instead of having to recreate your entire code plug, you can use this migration assistant to help you convert your code plug from the old version to the new version. So all you have to do is simply import a file and boom, there's all your stuff. Obviously there's gonna be some additional tweaking in your code plug and all that to make sure everything's legit and good to go. But anyway, this is the process. I wanted to show you guys really quick. So I made a copy of a code plug. I don't like working with the originals. Very rarely will I. I always create a copy. That's just my personal preference. I put it in a folder on my desktop here. So what we do is we fire up that migration assistant and we tell it where that is. So let's open our folder here, select that. You can see it's all in there now. We need to tell it this is a portable type of code plug because there is a difference. Validation mode here. I prefer to deal with errors and issues and stuff like that on my own instead of having this thing freak out every time it comes across something it doesn't like. So I always disable validation myself. Now you can import as many code plugs as you want. I have found that one at a time produces a lot less BS. I've tried doing two, I've tried doing three, five, and 10 at a time, and it all just creates a bunch of problems. I don't know if it's just my PC or what. One at a time, I have not had any issues whatsoever. So. Just do it one at a time, no problem there. So where do we want the final product to be dumped out? Let's select that desktop again, and I'm just gonna put it right back in the same folder. So there it is. Now log files, you can choose to delete them or keep them. Log files are handy if you need to look and see what's going on, why did this stop, what is the migration assistant freaking out about, whatever. So I just leave that on, it does help troubleshoot if you run into an issue. So now that we have our code plug selected, it's correct, it is a portable, validation is either enabled or disabled, whatever. This is where we want everything to dump out to. You simply hit that start conversion button. It's going to ask you, are you sure this is the correct type of code plug? Just tell it yes, and it is going to open Astro Portable CPS. And basically what it's doing is it's creating an export of everything in that code plug. So the more stuff you have in your code plug, the longer this is going to take. It's doing a complete export of everything, buttons, zones, everything, literally. So the more stuff you have in there, the longer it's going to take. So just let it do its thing. Once it does that, you will see there's your export. It's going to create a bunch of all these uh, XML, TXT files, all, all this other fun stuff as a temporary thing. And that's it. No, not really. So it's still doing stuff. It just doesn't look like it's doing stuff. As you see, if you put your cursor over the window, it still says conversion is in progress. Please wait. You got that nifty little hourglass. This green bar actually does move a little bit, um, but you know, their software is not very creative or visually appealing. As you see, it looks like Microsoft Access. Remember those days when you create a database and you had your little form entry things that you had to design and that's kind of what this looks like. So it's not very intuitive or anything else. So it's just going to sit here until it is done processing that export. It's basically converting it from a CSV file to an XML file. And depending on how much stuff you have in there, zones, scan lists, personalities, the works, it's going to take a minute. So hopefully you don't have a whole lot of stuff in your code plug and it's going <laughs> to like I said, it will take two minutes short of eternity. We've had a couple of radios that we had over 60 zones with 16 channels each. Yeah, two minutes short of eternity is an understatement. So that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and pause this until it gets close to being done. I don't see a need to waste everybody's time while we sit here and stare at this little green bar doing nothing until it does something. So we'll come back when it's done. All right, there it is. So you can see it's finally done. It's taken forever and a day, and that's it. So what you have now is an XML file. And what we're gonna do is fire up CPS for your Apex. Come up here, 
Yep, hi. I'm going to come up here and we're going to import that XML file. So there's everything that was exported and converted. That's all in that file. So we're going to tell it to select all. And you notice the import button is grayed out. That's fine. We're just going to hit copy. And what's going to happen is CPS is going to import and copy all of that stuff into this code plug for your Apex. So as you see here, non Astro, conventional personality, one V for VHF, all this other fun stuff here. So there's all your personalities, there's all your zones, all your scan lists, everything is in there that was from the other one. Now, you're gonna have some issues. That's just how things work. So invalid field report here. You can see stuff is not jiving the way it should. That's fine. So just go through and fix your issues one at a time. It's not that hard. You're probably gonna to have to reselect some stuff because numbers got shifted, moved around, whatever the case is, really simple. So once you've got all of that done, boom, no more issues on your report here. You can also click this restore to default, but if you've got things that you need to set in there a specific way, that's not gonna help you. So there it is, all said and done. The import, like I said, took two minutes short of eternity. The timer on the whole video here is at 19 minutes so far. So there it is. I'm going to cut out some of the BS for you guys, like I said, and boom, that's it. Now that you got your code plug set up, you can rename everything, set it up how you want, all nice and pretty in here, and voila, write it to your radio, and you will be good to go. Alrighty, guys, as always, I appreciate your time. I hope my videos are helping somebody out there at least, and I will catch you on the flip side.